Hello everyone, let's start with NCRT exam plus solutions. So in this I would be covering MCQ's questions related to crop production and management. So the first one says which one of the following condition is not essential to grow maize. So we know that maize belongs to the group of crops belonging to subtropical origin and highly reactive towards high temperature. So this variety of crop is susceptible to low temperatures and it does not adjust to such temperature due to which cultivation in temperature latitudes is limited. So therefore the right option is low temperature. Now the second part is propagation of ginger is generally done using seed, stem, root, leaf. So in the case of ginger it takes place through stem or you can say it rhizome. Now the third part which of the following statement is not true for organic manure. So it enhances water holding capacity. That's true. It has a balance of all plant nutrients. This is false because the basic nutrients required by plants for proper, proper growth are nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. But phosphorus and potassium cannot be added to soil by organic manure. So therefore, it uh, the right option for question number 3 is it has a balance of all plant nutrients. That's wrong. Question number 4. The term used for the process of separation of grains from chaff is sieving. Threshing, winnowing, hand picking. So the right option is threshing. The term used for the process of separation of crop grains from chaff is threshing. And winnowing we know is used to separate grains and chaff by the farmers. So question number fifth. Read the statements given below. Seeds require moisture for germination. Plants can absorb nutrients mostly in dissolved form. Third is irrigation protects crops from both frost and hot air currents. Fourth is irrigation improves soil texture. So in this case we need to find the combination of statements which indicate the need to irrigate crops. Like what is the use to irrigate crops. So in this case you can see we require seeds. Seeds require moisture for germination that's right. Again, second part, plants can absorb nutri nutrients mostly in dissolved form. Again, right. Then the third one is irrigation protects crop from both frost and hot air currents. That's again right. Now the fourth one, irrigation improves soil texture. So that's again, it is quite right. So it will be C that all the parts are correct here. So the right option is C here. Now question number 6 says which of the following tools would a farmer use to remove weeds from the field. So we have hoe, hoe, plow. So second one is plow, third is axe, fourth is cultivator. So the right option for this is hoe. Hoe is used to pull out weeds from the field. Now moving on to question number 7, it says which of the following is new, not true for fertilizers. They increase the yield, their excessive use disturbs the balance of nutrients in soil, they are generally used in small quantity, they are environmental friendly. So the right option is D, they are not environmental friendly. They are environmental friendly written here but they are not environmental friendly. Now, question number 8 says, given below are statements about the harmful effects of weed on crop plants. They interfere, interfere in harvesting. They help crop plants to grow healthy. They compete with crop plants for water nutrients, space and light. They affect plant growth. Choose the correct combination of statements. So, from here I can say that they affect plant growth. They compete with crop plants for nutrition, water, space and light and this is third and fourth. Second is wrong. They don't help crop plants to grow healthy. So 
they interfere in harvesting yeah that's right so first third and fourth so here you can see that the combination of a has first third and fourth now moving on to next question number 9 it says the process of loosening and turning of soil is called so we have irrigation and manuring we have digging and winnowing we have tilling and blowing then we have harvesting and storage so it says process of loosening and turning of soil so it is tilling and blowing next is the monsoon season in our country is during the months april to december june to september november to march january to may so the monsoon season in india persists from june to september now 11th question says the system of irrigation where in water where is where in water is supplied drop by drop near the roots of plants is called pulley system drip system sprinkler system lever system so it is drip system in which we have the system of irrigation where in water is supplied drop by drop near the roots of plants is called drip system or drop by drop so that's your MCQs based on chapter number 1 thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe